Let's talk about the comic book industry a little bit, which is always a fun subject for this channel. I wanted to touch back on the Image Comics Union that a lot of the employees at that at that establishment were trying to form. Now, Image executives aren't very happy about this. In fact, one of them had all of the employees that were calling for the union dropped from the credits of a book called Hell Cop at the, at the request of Vice President Jim Valentino. Now, what I find funny about all of this is they are going to be forced to recognize them. The big news that's dropping, at least yesterday, is that they are now recognized by the Communication Workers of America. So they can't really do anything about it. Like every every company has the right to form a union. So they're kind of stuck with it. And, you know, I wouldn't really care about this union very much. The only thing that I think is terrible in this, uh, that they're trying to do, is they actually want editorial control. So they want... They want the ability to cancel books or people that are like coming in if they consider if they consider the creators to be istophobic. They want the ability to veto that move and to veto their ability to make a book, which, you know, I, I think that's kind of that's kind of messed up. It's like, oh, I'm going to work with uh, this creator because he does a dope cover and I want it for my book. But you can't do that because the janitor at Image Comics doesn't like the politics of that of that gentleman. That's literally what's going on here, and it's uh, it's it's a self defeating thing. I I think to give them that much power, because Image would pretty much just get rid of people they don't like anyway. But now you're gonna just go ahead and give editorial that ability, and I think that that's uh, that's not gonna fly very well. So in response to a request for comment, an image representative said earlier this morning, the Communication Workers of America and National Labor Relations Board vote results were tallied seven and two in favor of them forming a union. Everyone at Image is committed to this process, and we look forward to continuing to work together on this. So obviously, Image not happy about this. That's why they're deleting people from books now. <laughs> Uh, but they're not going to have a choice. So it's going to be interesting to watch how this works out for the comic book industry because it's already in bad shape. That's why you have comic book shops closing left and right. We have another one that closed. Atomic Basement Comics announced that their store will be closing for good this month. Now, what's interesting about this story is I remember when all of this... So... <laughs> A couple, I think it was a year or two ago, the guy who runs this comic shop, uh, he's not a fan of Ethan Van Skyver over at Comic Artist Pro Secrets on YouTube. And he said he was going to beat him up. And as you can see here, he said he was going to uh, blow the face off of his skull, in other words. And uh, he's a very hardcore SJW. Very, very woke, this guy who runs Atomic Basement Comics. Uh, he was running around saying that he's going to find Ethan at conventions and beat him up. Uh, all the receipts are here in this article. I'll go ahead and show some of them to you here. So I can't wait to see you at a show, Ethan, and beat the living F out of you. I'm literally going to beat your ass. How dare you insult legends like Larry Hama as well as our industry itself. F you. I am a libtard with fists. You're going to feel them the next time we are at a convention together. I'm going to beat the living F out of you in front of everybody. You're such a little coward. Let's fight. Let me feed you a fist sandwich, you little bee. And he sends it here. <laughs> and uh, Ethan responds to him saying, Do you have a family? Take care of your family during this hard time. It does. It does matter. Your family needs you. He's like, you didn't hear him asking if you voted for Trump. So this is, it looks like this. Give me the home address 
and give the police an actual reason to be concerned because I will come to your house and uh, take your effing face off your skull. That is a fact. So <laughs> these are the people, the unstable people that are running the comic book shops, which, you know, a lot of them I don't, there's some good ones out there and I don't want to say they're on, but there's also a lot of far, far leftist people running some. And this is how, this is their mentality. So Atomic Basement closed. Here's his statement. I guess this must be said with a heavy heart uh, that Atomic Basement Comics and Creators Lab will be closing its doors in early January 2022. Wah, wah, wah. So like one of the things is like a lot of these comic book shops totally have the power to push change in the industry. But you see how a lot of them act. They all act like children. They're all very immature. And this guy got a full face, a, a full feeding of karma for the shit that he's pulled over the past couple of years. And going after a guy telling me you're going to take him out over disagreements in the comic book industry is kind of childish. So, uh, I, I, considering the way he acts, I doubt he ran his business very well, which is one of the reasons why that shop probably closed down. So, Comic book industry is booming, though, right? Doing so well. It's really raking in those numbers. I mean, look at those beautiful numbers from IDW Media Holdings. Five-year graph of showing them doing nothing but a downhill ski slope. Well, a little danger pit right here. So, yeah, the comic book industry is just doing so well. It's really booming. Doing amazing. Well, I take that back. Uh, manga's doing pretty amazing here in the West. In fact, so well, it's, it's sparking a shortage of books and that's been going on for probably a year now. Try and get like some random number. Like it's, uh, it's tough. Like I, I have been getting most of the demon slayer books, but I'm missing like five and nine, like random books that I can't get. Because it's it's tough to get them. But I, I, you don't have that problem with anything in the comic book industry. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share this video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.